I'd like to start with a question of, of what you see as the, as the stakes. I mean, in war, the greatest fear is that the other side might win. And, and, and Dr. Chopra, I thought maybe I'd start with you. Um, uh, you conclude writing, um, one must be decisive here. A world ruled completely by science would be hell on earth. And what, what do you mean there? What, what is your concern um, about seeing a, 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 an entirely scientific view of reality um, uh, as the dominant theory? First of all, I should say I, I did want to make peace, but he wouldn't. <laughs> so, uh, I think science is a very effective and good methodology for understanding partial truth. And I mean that very respectfully. You know, science doesn't look at the world as it is. Science looks at the world as it interacts with the human nervous system and certain questions that human beings ask. Spirituality asks different questions. Who am I? Uh, what's the meaning and purpose of my existence? What does death mean to me? Is there a God? If there is, does that entity care about me? And there's other questions. How can I increase my capacity for love and have compassion? How can ha I have equanimity, peace of mind? Um, how can I harness my imagination, my intuition, my insight, my creativity, my free will to improve my connection with all of you, with the web of life that we call the ecosystem, and understanding my relationship with the cosmos the stardust that makes my body. My kinship with all of life, if I share DNA with microorganisms, I have a kinship through evolution with all of life, and I have a kinship with the universe. I want that to mean something to me, not intellectually, but experientially. So that's the problem. Science devoid of all that, based not on values, and I say it again respectfully, half the problems we're trying to solve, including global warming, eco-destruction, biological warfare, uh, mechanized death, these are the gifts of a science that does not have any values. Dr. Mladenov, would you like to respond to that? Is it, is it I think I might, a, yeah. A, 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 it is science to neuter our so cultural first values. I, 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 well, first I think I need to give a disclaimer uh, and that is that please do not assume that whatever Deepak says, I believe the opposite, okay? So I think there's a certain tendency. And let me start to say that I, I agree with a lot of what he just said, uh, that science, for instance, is a great method of obtaining partial truth. And so I think it's important to realize that I think no, very few scientists would disagree with that statement. Science is a methodology for understanding the physical universe for making, in particular, predictions about what will happen in the future given a certain situation or what, how the situation that we have now arose from something in the past. So science is all about uh, defining your, your, um, what, you're, what you're interested in and predicting what's going to happen. Now science does not, add, there are many other issues in human life that are very important, spiritual issues, issues of morality, issues of ethics, um, the mean, issues of the meaning of life, or even issues uh, that sound scientific, like where do the laws of physics come from, which science can never address, because science always starts from laws, of laws and derives consequences. And if we explained where those laws came from, our answer would be from this other set of laws. So the, the, wherever the, the initial set of laws or principles are, or ma mathematical or physical, we can never tell where they came from. So I agree that science is a partial truth, but then the question was, is science, um, Hell on earth, right? So I disagree that science is hell on earth. I, I, I don't think I was banished to hell when I became a scientist or that I was creating hell for others. I think it's, I the, think, I think it's the scientific values put us at risk of, of right. getting so on the Right, so let me say that, that, that what science is is knowledge, okay? And you, you, science cannot proceed by integrating uh, morality and values with research. When we study quantum electrodynamics, it is uh, not going to get us anywhere to try and incorporate ethics into that. 